And I'm looking for Brooks across the middle here. And <laughs> and oh, th that's a beautiful. And we do get the blocks. And four with a spin. <laughs> Welcome back, Lumberjacks. And today, we're back at it again. Welcome back to the second to last best YouTube Dynasty, Stephen F. Austin. We're playing Auburn this week. This is a big game. And as you can see, we actually jumped up a spot in the top 25. We're number 23 now. Uh, we've been top 25 for the last, what, three or four weeks now. We've only moved up two spots. That just goes to show that we are in a weak conference and hopefully that'll be changing soon. So Auburn, is on a winning streak they've won four in a row they have beat so they actually lost to Ole Miss so we have the tiebreaker over Ole Miss and if we happen to lose this game against Auburn we have a huge mess of uh tiebreakers going on if we win this game we we clinch we are currently on a six game winning streak one two three four five six we're coming off that victory over the Northwestern State Demons and we've reached the nine win goal that the athletic director had for us i was expecting a slight regression from last season but we have reached our nine win goal scc west we're nine and one six and oh in conference as you can see Ole miss has the tiebreaker over auburn as long as we win one of our last two games we will clinch our spot in the sec championship against no surprise lsu as long as lsu does not lose a game for the rest of the season in conference play and let's check out their schedule actually so they've actually lost two in a row they just lost to Ole Miss as long as they win the game against Louisiana Tech they will clinch their spot in the conference championship and um, obvi obviously I want to play them so I'm hoping they beat Louisiana Tech if Louisiana Tech wins that game they actually will get into the conference championship which is an absolute shock to me because we ran those guys off the field so i really hope that they i really hope lsu wins that football game this this conference in general has been an embarrassment so let's jump into the scouting process of auburn thomas mccollum is the head coach and this looks like gus malzahn this this is the head coach of auburn university they play the spread offense ball state spread they're gonna be no huddle and they're looking to be aggressive so Honestly, we're gonna play our cover too, like we do. We don't mix it up on defense too much because we really don't have the players. We do bring blitzes here and there. In this game, I'm probably just gonna sit back in coverage. We'll look at their players, but I'm sure they have a scrambling quarterback. Defensively, they run the 4-3. They are looking to defend the pass a little bit more, but they're gonna stay balanced on defense and they're gonna be a little bit aggressive. So we gotta be ready with our screen game, of course. Auburn has depth at quarterback, that is for sure. They have a pocket passer, but this guy probably Probably can take off he can probably dime us up we got dimed up last week by Northwestern State so any quarterback that we play you know a freaking potato back there in the pocket can probably dime us up this guy can definitely dime us up at halfback they have an OP halfback 91 speed 96 excel 90 break tackle I already see what I need to see to know that we're in danger you know we need to tackle this running back Dan Wallace this guy we need to get him on the ground the first opportunity we can't let him get going they are actually weak at fullback so that doesn't matter at wide receiver they have a ton of depth they have a ton of speed they have a good tight end so their passing game can be very dangerous in terms of their offensive line dude these guys are solid up front we have played offensive lines like this before and we've actually held our own but our defensive line is so weird that you know there's instances where last week we played northwestern state we should have been dominating them up front we should have had more sacks more tackles for loss we weren't we weren't getting that type of production so our defensive line needs to come out and play they need to beat these guys up front they run the 4-3 so they are strong up front they have a lot of depth and then at linebacker of course these guys are loaded auburn is known to have great linebackers and then at cornerback they're actually pretty weak at cornerback they do have good speed of course northwestern state had a lack of talent at cornerback and we still could not really get anything going against them so it is what it is at safety they look like they're pretty strong there we're gonna try and run the ball but we're gonna have to be very efficient we can't have the turnovers that we had against northwestern state we need to be able to throw the ball around the yard today and that means we need to get out of way in rhythm hit the short passes 
our running game should be taken away in this game. So we're going to have to win this game with Brady Attaway's arm. That's going to be a difficult task, but that's what it's going to take. We need to come out and throw the ball. This is in hostile territory, this football game here. All right, so Auburn is rated pretty high in every category. 30th in points, 24th in yards, 41st in pass, 17th running the ball, 17th scoring defense, 11th total yardage on defense, 11th passing defense, and 31st rushing defense. This is going to be a tough go for us. We don't rate highly in really anything offensively. Of course, we play six minute quarters, so that probably plays a role. Here we are in Jordan Hare Stadium. We're coming into hostile territory. This is going to be a tough battle. It's, it's time we beat these Tigers so bad that they're gonna have to call PETA on us. The goal is to keep their 4-3, the defense they're comfortable in, keep them off the field, try and take advantage of their secondary. And we have the blocks and Attaway slow, slide down and Attaway is able to gain nine yards on first down. So that's a good first play of the game. Okay, they're bringing a blitz. Ah, okay, I'm not gonna throw deep. I'm gonna look for a short pass and I'm gonna look for a drag route. And Mosey with the good catch, that's down to the 31 yard line. That was a good throw by Attaway, I'm surprised. And I'm looking for Brooks across the middle here. And Attaway. <laughs> uh, dude, Ford on a wheel route. Let's see if we can get uh, Mosey here on this button hook. And a great catch by Mosey there. That's the second catch on this drive. It's gonna be first and 10. We got the ball inside the 20. That was a good throw by Attaway. So it's third and six. I'm here in a three wide receiver set. It looks like they're playing a man. So I'm gonna move Foster in motion. We have him on a drag route, which actually looks good. I'm gonna move Bearden on this slant. Let's see if we can get someone open here. And Bearden with the tough catch. Was that a first? I think we're gonna go for it here. I, I felt like we got that first down, but we're gonna we're gonna see how they line up against this fullback dive here. If I don't like it, then I'm gonna call timeout. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I like this. They are so much stronger than us up front that that I don't like this look. So I'm gonna call timeout and I'm just gonna kick the field goal, take the points, and that's right down the middle. That's gonna be a three nothing lead, and we're gonna have a spy with Amaretto and Darren Robinson. Probably gonna be a run right up the middle. That's my guess. And no, it is not. We are not getting any pressure. And ooh, he overshoots a wide open receiver. That is thanks to the pressure. So we got pressure on third down. We actually get Auburn off the field, three and out. And we actually are getting a good return here. We're down to the, what? 28 yard line great return for a lot great blocking that was a great special teams play there and ford gets skinny runs through the hole gains eight yards great run by ford there they are not bringing a blitz that i see of course they could be blitzing these linebackers and ford tries to spin but he's tackled after an eight yard gain we are running a lot on this jet sweep i actually like how this looks they could be blitzing on this right side so i'm gonna slide my protection right surprise motherfucker. oh and lot fumbles it oh no uh and that's a, that's a clean fumble too i can never get a tackle in the backfield they i had a 97 yard touchdown against me against old miss last season in season one and we get we do hit the quarterback but he's off to the races and he breaks the tackle huge gain for the quarterback this is a pocket passer i, I remind you he runs for 41 yards and easy completion we do get the tackle he fumbles but that's that guy's down and we actually have murphy playing a linebacker in our this situation and a good tackle in the backfield by hippolyte there Great play. Helmet sticker for Hippolyte. Let's go. And it's second and 11. They have the ball at the, what, 35 yard line. And this is a screen pass. And they have it well blocked. Caleb misses the tackle and they get the first down on second and 11. Dude, get. Oh, no. That 
that was an interception. I was hitting triangle. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What kind of shenanigans? So I'm just going to commit run middle here because that looks like what the, that's that looks like what they're going to do. We do get the tackle in the backfield. Good job, Cedric Barlow. That's a helmet sticker for Mr. Cedric Barlow. Let's see if we could get these guys off the field and hold them to a field goal. That would be a win for our defense. And good, great tackle by Caleb Nelson in the open field. That's a two yard loss. Helmet sticker for Caleb. Are they going to go for it? They are not going to go for it. Great job by our defense. We hold them to a field goal. And now it's going to be a tie football game unless they fake this, of course. And they do not fake it right down the middle. It's going to be a tie football game. Kind of looks like they are playing press. I don't like how this read option looks. Let's see if we can get Mosley open here. I'm running a slant. Let's see if... Uh... And... Oh, th that's a beautiful throw. And that's going to be a touchdown. Let's go. Lot. You made up for it, baby. Let's go. 83-yard touchdown. The biggest completion in Stephen F. Austin program history. Let's go. I am in disbelief. We finally hit a deep ball. Just in case you guys thought that I didn't know how to pass the ball. There you go. I kind of know how to pass the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to put Darren in the spy here and I am manned up on the tight end second and 10 and it's actually a draw and we're there we make the tackle in the backfield who is that Malcolm Maddox helmet sticker our senior he's playing the last few games of his career here and I have a feeling this could be a screen pass no it is not Oh, dude, another third and long, but that one I can't be too mad at. That was a freaking dime. 36 yard line. I manned up on the running back here. And we do get pressure and there's an open man right across the middle. That is our weakness of the cover two. They hit us right where we're weak. Let's see if our defense can keep them out of the end zone here. We're gonna bring in all out blitz, honestly. And we do get pressure, it is dropped. It's dropped. Woohoo! It kind of looks like they're going to run right. So I'm going to commit right here. And we are there. We make the tackle. That's Burton with the tackle for loss. Helmet sticker Burton. That's your first of the season. Great job, Burton. And we do get pressure. Oh, oh and it's deflected away by Cedric Barlow. Huge play by Barlow. Great job, Barlow. And we force them into another field goal. What a great job by our defense. We're allowing the big plays, but we are playing bend, but don't break. And we're not allowing them to score touchdowns right now. Great job by our defense there. Yeah, honestly, I don't see anything. I, I see a cover two, so we might have Foster here. And it's thrown right to the linebacker, and that's a turnover. But we had to be aggressive. That's two turnover turnovers on this game. And it's deflected away. That's the end of the first half. It's 10-6. It's a close one. It's going to be a sweaty. And hopefully our defense can come out and hold them to either another field goal or get them off the field. Our defense has played okay. We're allowing a lot of big plays, a lot of third down conversions, a lot of second and longs, third and longs, first and longs. You know, we need to do a better job at preventing the screen pass so it's something i have to keep an eye on i'm going to start keying on the running back he has what five or six receptions in that first half and that's pretty insane we did hit a big pass play i did throw an interception on that drive that last drive of the half but i had to force it somewhere yeah that, that was a bad pass that was just a bad decision we need to recommit to running the ball again 130 passing yards and 37 rushing yards. That's way out of character. And we're not winning time of possession right now, which is definitely out of character for this team. They are winning time of possession. They're winning total yardage. They're winning the turnover battle. So projection wise, Auburn is in good position to win this game. We are in the lead though. We've actually scored a touchdown, whereas they have not. So let's hope our defense can keep that, that level of play up. It's actually a draw play, and this is a good play call. We're all there. Damn, that running back is tough. There was four guys there, and he was still able to run through all of us and get the first down. And, oh, I get beat. Damn, that's my fault. Amaretto just doesn't have the hips and coverage for, uh, for that, and I'm not able to keep up with them. I'm going to try a, a zone here. 
I do not run zones very often. And that's actually a draw play. Darren Robinson is there to make the tackle in the backfield. Great job, Darren Robinson. Helmet sticker. Let's go. Third and nine, though. If we can get the guy, these guys off the field right here, that would be a huge, huge thing. And I'm going to play quarterback contain here. I'm manned up on this running back. Actually, now I'm manned up on the tight end. Let's hope our guys don't get confused. And it's actually a screen pass. I did call the right defense to stop that play, the quarterback contain. And we're actually going to run forward on this uh, this will route. And Brooks makes the catch. He maintains possession through the hit. Great catch by Brooks there. And that's a first down. We're down to the 41. We're going to run this counter unless I see something in their defense that I, I would like to take advantage of. And Ford runs hard and gains that first down. That a boy running four tough helmet sticker. Let's go. I'm going to look for the slant and see if someone can get open. No. Damn, nobody is open here. And we have to throw that out and we get forced off the field. They come out in three wide receiver set, three wide receivers on the right side. And Amaretto is. Ah, oh, dude, this running back is so frustrating. He's such a tough runner. And this is a screen pass, and it makes me dive, of course. And this is a huge... It's... <laughs> huge stiff arms. I'm running quarterback contain, and we actually have backups on the field, so... Oh, that's a false start. Yes. That's a false start. This is going to be third and 11. Our defense is, of course, pretty bad on third and longs. We do get beat up by these angle routes by the running backs. And this is another angle route. And that's a deep throw. And that's dropped. Oh, no. I mean, we'll take it. But damn, it's fourth and 11. They have to take the field goal. That's another hold by our defense. Of course, that one was kind of luck, but we'll take it. <laughs> and that kick is right down the middle and it's a 10-9 game we still have the lead and Aubrey makes a man miss he just does not have the speed but we do gain to the 38 yard line so that's a good return by Aubrey and they're actually bringing a blitz and we do not get the block but <laughs> he breaks a tackle look at him go and that's the end of the third quarter get your fours up we this is a big drive. If we can uh, get a big drive, score a touchdown on this drive, convert this third down first and foremost. Attaway is missing a lot of passes right now and it's so frustrating. But if we can gain the first down here, we can start eating at this clock and we need to clinch this victory. It's third and two. We have the ball at the 48 yard line. I'm gonna slide protection left. Let's see if we can get uh, forward here on this run. We have Boyd. Lead block. We do have the blocks. And Ford is able to gain the first down. Good job, Ford. Good blocking on that left side, too, by Boyd and Foster. We're going to start trying to run the ball against these guys. We need our, our running game to close this one out for us. We're going to slide protection left. Second and three. And we do get the blocks. And Ford with a spin! 24-yard <laughs> line. What a spin! He made three guys miss on that play. Look at this freaking spin. Whoop! Damn! With no regard for human life. Oh, and Lot drops the pass. And Lot does not drop that one. And that's the first down. There you go. Great catch by Lot there. It's second and goal. Two yard line. And they bite on the running back and Attaway's into the end zone. Touchdown Lumberjacks. Let's go. And we're just going to take away this deep ball. We're going to have Darren and actually, no, we're going to do quarterback contain here. And I'm going to man up on this running back. I got to really watch this running back as a route runner. And we are now manned up on this tight end. Oh, and a good deflection by Skyler over on that left side. Good job, Skyler. And another screen pass. You got to be kidding. And we force another incompletion on that one. And honestly, I could see this being a screen pass too. It's third and 10. They got the ball to 35. They have the tight end in motion. And it's another screen pass. And we get the tackle in the backfield. That's what you get for calling the same play three plays in a row. What the hell? That, re that running back has 10 receptions on the game. Snap it. Okay, thank you. And beautiful seal block. Great run by 
Fred Ford, but great blocking on that left side. There was a beautiful sail block. I didn't, I don't know who it was, but that was a great sail block. And a beautiful spin move by Ford. <laughs> Let's go. Fred Ford, man. What a beast. This dude, man. This dude is a freaking beast. Fred Ford. We are, we have not missed Gus Johnson at all since he went out and that's crazy to say and that's gonna be a touchdown touchdown fred four let's go mama sticker fred four yes what a freaking drive for fred ford we just clinched this game man great blocking on that left side too but wow fred ford is breaking out we're gonna have a loaded backfield next season it's gonna be insane to try and equalize all the touches to Gus Johnson, McDougal, and Fred Ford. We're gonna have a three-headed monster next season. We're gonna, yeah, we're just bringing the blitz here. Second and goal. And uh, easy, there's the touchdown. They finally get in to the end zone. Our defense has done a decent job all game of keeping them out, but they get in there and here we go. And we're playing quarterback contain here. And I'm going to have Amaretto and Spy. There's actually a wide open man over there. And they get the two point conversion. I didn't have enough time to make the audible. I should have called timeout. Oh, well. All right. So it comes down to an onside kick now. And Lot gets it. Great job by Lot. And there we go. And that's it. SEC West champions on to the SEC championship. Of course, we have Sam Houston State next week. For the battle for the piney woods you know our defense played real relatively well you know we we played well overall coming into the to a hostile environment here in jordan Hare. and uh out of way eight of 15 he wasn't great he did have a really bad second half honestly he was really bad 157 yards passing 53 completion percentage one interception which honestly that wasn't his fault we were just trying to force the ball somewhere that it shouldn't have been forced he did throw that nice long touchdown for 83 yards. Half of his entire statistics came from that one play. Ford, freaking beast, man. This dude is going to get a lot more carries next season. I might even consider redshirting him because we're going to have three running backs, you know, in rotation next season. The dude averaged 8.2 yards a carry, had another 100-yard rushing game, and he scored a touchdown, had two 20-yard rushes, Attaway chipped in, 6 for 25. Receiving into things, we had three people with two receptions each. It was not a passing, well, it never is in Nacogdoches. <laughs> but Lot led us in receiving yardage. He had the touchdown, the long touchdown. He did have a big drop that would have been another touchdown and that would have gotten him over 100 yards receiving for the first time in his career. So he missed an opportunity there. Pancake by our two senior offensive linemen, our left tackle and our right guard. Defensively, Aubrey, of course, the senior leads the way. Seven solo. Hippolyte Nelson with five each. Tackles for loss, we are much better at attacking the line of scrimmage in this one. We had Hippolyte, Maddox, Bailey, Nelson, and Burton. Burton with his first play of the of his career. And we had Amaretto, Robinson, and Barlow. Eight tackles for loss in this one. We we're much better at attacking the line of scrimmage in this one. No sacks. The Sacadocious nickname is looking like a joke right now. Now we have our 10 wins. We have clinched the SEC West and we're going to the SEC Championship. And Coach McCockiner is actually a Coach of the Year finalist. And before I head out, if you want your name input on any of the players that we've recruited, or if you want yourself created as a recruit, to be recruited by anybody during the off-season recruiting, let me know in the comments section. Number 23 in the country, next opponent, Sam Houston State, and then we're going to the conference championship. Let me know what you think of the series. I'll see y'all in the next one. Later, essentially. I'm running a slant. Stephen F. Austin program history. Let's go.